can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this big square, what we're going to do is to draw two squares inside of this big square. And this orange square, the area is 5 square centimeters. And the area of this yellow square is 20 square centimeters. Now the question is what is the area of the big square? Now pause this video and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the area of the big square. And of course, how to do that? Here's the solution. Now the area of this orange square is 5 square centimeters. Of course, the length of the side of this square simply equal to square root of 5 centimeters. And also, the length of the side of this yellow square is just square root of 20 centimeters. And 20 is just 4 times 5. Or we can simplify square root of 20 as 2 times square root of 5. Now from here, given this figure, I see a lot of similar triangles. Because, notice, if we let this angle be equal to alpha and this angle be equal to beta, alpha plus beta now equals 90 degrees for sure. And these two angles, this angle and this angle, adds up to 90 degrees. Therefore, this angle should be equal to alpha. Now, we have here in a right triangle, and we have this angle equals beta because alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. This angle should be alpha, and this angle is beta. Therefore, we can say that this right triangle, this small right triangle, is similar to this big right triangle, and this similar to this right triangle. Now, how this help us to answer this kind of question? All right. Let x be the length of the shorter leg of this right triangle and the longer leg be equal to y. Now, since these two right triangles are similar, take a look at their hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse of this small right triangle is square root of 5. And the hypotenuse of this right triangle is 2 times the hypotenuse of this small right triangle, meaning the scale factor is just 2. So the length of the shorter leg of this right triangle is just 2x, and the length of the larger leg is just 2y. Now from here, let's have this third right triangle, which is similar to this 2. And the question is, what is the length of this hypotenuse? So square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 5, or simply equal to 3 times square root of 5, which is 3 times the hypotenuse of this small right triangle, meaning its shorter leg is just 3 times x, and the longer leg is 3 times y. Alright, now from here, notice that we can represent the side of the big square in two different ways. The first one is x plus 3y, and the second one is 2y plus 3x. So, we set this two expression equal because those are the side length of our big square. Now, combining like terms, and we get that y equals 2 times x. Now, we know y equals 2 times x. And to finally found out the values of y and x, and finally the side length of the square, what we're going to do is to use this right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we have something like x squared plus y squared equals square root of 5 raised to the power of 2. Simplifying this, square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 is just 5. Now we know y, this y, simply equal to 2x. So we can replace this y with 2x. Now 2x raised to the power of 2 is just 4x squared. x squared plus 4x squared is just 5x squared. Divide both sides by 5, we have x squared equals 1. Take the square root on both sides, we get x equals 1. x cannot be equal to negative 1 because x is a side length. So x is positive 1. So we know that x equals 1. So how about y? y is just 2 times x. 2 times 1 is just 2. So we know y equals 2. 
at this point, we can now have the side length of our big square. So the first, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 1 is 1, 4 times 3 is just 7. On the other side, this x is 1 plus 3 times 2 is 6, 1 plus 6 is just 7 also. Therefore, the side length of this big square is simply equal to 7 units or 7 centimeters. Therefore, the area is just 7 squared or simply equal to 49 square centimeters. And that is the area of the big square. Therefore, given this scenario, then the area of the big square simply equal to 49 square centimeters. And as always, we are done.